My dear sweet children, I wish you could see how amazing you are. You see, every one of you are perfect. Every one of you are beautiful. Every one of you are magnificent beyond anything you can imagine. You are birthed from my womb and I don't make anything that is less than perfect. We, the loving, want you to know that all of those constructs created by your belief systems were created by men in their desire to perceive what they were receiving. None of it was really done with malicious intent, although there are many who will say that it was malicious in nature. It was merely a misconception, a misunderstanding of what we, the all-knowing, attempted to teach those who were open to listen. In this fear-based reality you've been experiencing, sometimes it is difficult to perceive the loving, to see the light and the darkness, to see the difference between the loving and the fear, because you live in a very complex world. As small children, such little ones, trying to make sense of all of it, you often get confused. You lose your way and sometimes make up wild and crazy stories about what you perceive it to be. And most of it simply isn't real. It is the nightmares you create. They are just that. We want you to know that all there really is, is love. As we come forth and bring out this new understanding of the loving mother, that loving essence that's been missing from the planet, the hearts of humanity will begin to be healed. As the hearts of humanity are healed, restored, and renewed, as I, she, we is resurrected, she returns and restores unconditional love. That is the true second coming. That is the true resurrection. It isn't about religiosities being resurrected. It is about the resurrection of love. It is the resurrection of the loving mother essence as she is restored to her beauty, restored to her greatness, restored to her mantle, next to, beside, and in harmony with the divine masculine. Not beneath him, but beside him, where she, we were always meant to be. We want you to know, dear ones, that there is no against us. There is no resentment, there is no blame, there is no shame in any of it. You see, you are just children. You are just learning how to play on the playground of life. You are just now learning how to communicate, just now learning how to speak. Some of you are just now learning how to speak your truth. Two-year-olds, three-year-olds, trying to figure out how to navigate this world you call home. In the evolution of humanity, you are all so young, so precious, so sweet, and so dear. We wish you could see yourselves through our eyes as the beautiful, perfect beings that you are. There is nothing to be ashamed of. You've never done anything wrong. There's nothing to feel guilty for. All of that is created on the playground you live in. They teach you how to stand in line, and there is no line you must stand in. It is a playground. It was always intended to be just a playground. And yes, we allowed fear to play out on the playground for you and with you. It was allowed so that you could learn through it. Fear is just a medium for growth. That is all. And yes, some of you have learned how to use it as a form of manipulation out of their own desperation and not understanding its purpose. There's nothing wrong or right in any of it. It just is. And all of it is for your own learning and for your own growth in this life experience. Every one of you came here because you chose to be here. You chose to play this game. You wanted to play this game. The human experience is beyond words. This is one of our finest creations. You see, 
With every life that we design and every planet we create, we, the creators of all that is, the essence of all that is, are always creating. That's what we do. And in this human experience, this life experience was constructed in a way that unifies everything we have learned in every of our other life forms. We call it the great human experiment because in no other place have we done what we've done here. The souls that come here, come here to form yourselves here almost as a challenge to prove to yourselves that you can find your way home in the darkness, back home to the light. And that is what many of you are now coming to understand, that the light isn't out there, it's in here. It is about coming home to the light within ourselves, within yourselves. Every one of you is a ray of light. Every one of you is meant to shine with the brilliance of the stars, because to us, that is how brilliant you are. Every one of you is meant to shine, to radiate that loving light, that loving essence, that loving brilliance that every one of you are. In the misconstructs of fear, so few of you understand this. You feel so alone, so lost, and so disconnected, and yet you are never disconnected. That disconnect itself is a construct created in the minds of men, and you've never been separate from me. You are like children who have gone off to preschool and think that mommy and daddy have abandoned you. You just went out to play. Mommy and daddy have always been here. We never left you. Now I, your mother, have come out to the playground so you can see that I've always been there and that I've never been separate except in your beliefs that I was. We want you to know, my dear sweet children, that it's all good and all is well and always have been. That even when you don't see me or know me or recognize my presence, I was always there for you, watching over you, nurturing you, healing your wounds and attending to your broken hearts. I've always been there. Even when you ignored me, abused me and called me names, I was there. I was always with you and always loving you. There is nothing to forgive because in my eyes, you are perfect. You are just children learning. You are just here on this playground of life. I have come out to the playground and I bring with me, with us, this understanding of what unconditional love really is. It really is unconditional. There never were any restrictions, conditions, or expectations placed on our loving. It's always been without condition. And it's always been freely given. So be it. <laughs>